Assalamualaikum and hi Okay, today we are going to learn about partition numbers How to do the partition numbers? Actually, we do the partition numbers according to the place value or digit value Okay, now we go to the partition based on place value. Okay, first, what you have to do is you have to read the number. And then, you recognize the place value of each digit of the number. This we have learned in our previous lesson in topic place value and digit value. And then, after that, you can do the partition. Look at the example. First, read the number. 182. What is the place value for digit 1? The place value is hundreds. Eight, the digit 8 is tens and the digit 2 is ones. So, the answer should be like this. One hundreds and eight tens and two ones. One hundreds and eight tens and two ones. You also can represent the partition using the bubble map like this. Okay, another example. First, read the number. 247. And then, define the place value for each digit. 2 is hundreds, 4 is tens, and 7 is ones. So, the answer is... 200. 200. And 4 tens... And seven ones, two hundreds and four tens and seven ones. This is the bubble map for the partition number. Okay, next, another example for you is three hundred and nine. Three hundred and nine. Okay, now. The place value for 3 is hundreds, 0 is tens, and 9 is ones. So, this is how you write the answer. 3 hundreds, and 0 tens, and 9 ones. Okay, this is... The bubble map for the partition based on place value. Okay, now we go to partition based on digit value. Okay, how to do the partition based on digit value? First, read the number. Second, you can recognize the place value of each digit of the number. And then, you can find the digit value and then the lastly, you can do the partition numbers. Look at the example. Okay, now, first read the number. 182. Okay, now, the place value for, e for every digit of the number. Okay. For digit 1, the place value is 100, so the digit value is 100. For digit 8, the, the place value is tens, so the digit value is 80. And lastly, digit 2, the place value is 1s, and the digit value is 2. So the answer is... One hundred and eighty and two.
Okay, this is the bubble map for the partition based on digit value. 182, 182, 182. Okay, now we go to the next example. Okay, first read the number 247. This is the place value for the number 204171. Okay, now the digit value for 2 is 200. 4 tens is 40. And 7 ones is 7. So, this is how you write. The answer two hundred and forty and seven. This is the bubble map for the partition based on digit value. The number two hundred and forty seven, okay, two hundred forty seven. Now look at the number. 309 This is the place value And now this is Digit value for the number Okay now How to write the partition number Okay here it is 309 Is 300 And 0 and 9 we can see the digit value 0 here. Actually, we don't have to write. Okay, we don't have to write it when we do the partitioning numbers uh, to digit value. So, the way how to write the answer is like this. 309. Okay, this is the bubble map for the number 309. Okay, look uh, how to write the partition number 309. 309. The digit value 0, we don't have to write it anymore. From what we have learned today, partition numbers can be done in two ways first according to the place value or digit value this is the example for both ways that's all for now thank you